and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. All right, well, you set your watch by it, and you set your calendar by it, but now that great big ball of fire in the sky is about to undergo a major change. And some new NASA observations reveal that the sun's anticipated shift is likely to have a ripple effect well beyond this little blue planet we call home. Grace Gallagher is live in our West Coast newsroom. So I imagine we are no longer going to adhere to the rules of gravity, Trace? Nope, no, we're all just going to fly up in the <laughs> air, Allie. No, that's what you I actually, when you hear the phrase, when you hear the phrase polar opposites, that's kind of what's happening, right? The magnetic field of the sun is actually changing polarity. They call it a solar flip. And it happens about once every 11 years, and it takes about three or four months for it to complete that rotation. Here's how it affects us. When the sun flips, it sends a ripple effect kind of throughout the solar system. Astronomers call it a current sheet that radiates billions of miles away from the sun, just like kind of when you shake a blanket up and down, it ripples, becomes wavy. Well, while the Earth is orbiting the sun, we dip in and out of those waves. Now, the Earth doesn't really bounce around, but it does create create some stormy space weather. Here's an expert, listen. Conditions in space are wildly different and so many more sort of wild, crazy activities can take place in space that are perfectly normal for that environment, but certainly couldn't take place here and we wouldn't want them to take place here. No, we would not want them to take place here. Normally, we would be able to see a lot of solar flares, kind of like what you're seeing there. But so far during this flip, eh, you know, not so much. Now, we do get a little benefit from this flip. It provides kind of some shielding from the dangerous cosmic rays, you know, the high energy particles that zip around the universe and they can damage satellites. They can also affect astronauts who happen to be up in space at the time. So we get some protection there, but the magnetic field is switching. And so we gently kind of go into a new phase of the thing that provides life for all of us on this planet. Allie. So do I need more sunscreen or not? A little bit. It's oh. always best. 70, okay. 75. Got it. No. Okay, that's easy. Thanks so much for explaining that. See you later, Trace.